Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I wanna to talk about how in the app market, quality is not enough. All right, so it's 1.30 in the morning. I'm in the office watching game seven of the World Series. It's in between innings at the moment really exciting but I want to talk a little bit about about app marketing and just sort of in general terms so yesterday I had a conversation with somebody who wanted me to have a look at his app on Google Play and I said yeah, well I'll have a look but I'm not I'm not an expert or anything but you know I, I could give any advice you know if I can so I had a look at it and I said you know the uh, some comments about the icon and the description stuff like that you know the same old bread and butter stuff right so uh, and then but then I looked at the related apps right and I it, the app was kind of like a it was a it was a type of game one you probably heard of but uh, you know it was you know put into an app and everything like that and uh, I won't tell you what it was because you know I don't want to be I don't want to do that but so but then I looked at related apps and I saw there were loads of the same kind of app there or loads of this very you know the same concept right I mean there were, there were like hundreds it was like a lot so I said I said to him so you know there's just a very crowded market I mean how are you going to differentiate yourself from all those other hundreds of apps right and he said if you look at the top app of that type the quality is really low, right? And my app is much better, right? My app is, is higher quality and it's much better, right? And this is, and I guess it, what bothered me about him saying that was because one of the things I talk about all the time, and one of the things that I figured out very early when I got knocked around in the app market in the early days was that the quality, of the, I mean, first of all, the quality of your app is really important. The reviews are really important. The user experience, all very, very important. But it's not enough, right? It's the big problem we all have is getting people to find it, and getting people to download it, and getting people just to, to notice it. If they're going to do a search, what are they going to search on? If they see a list of search items, how is yours going to stand out? You know, all that kind of stuff. What kind of keywords are you looking for? Who is your target audience? All that kind of stuff. There's so many different things at play there, right? And one of the things I like to, to think about, well, one of the things I think about is, is cult classics, right? There's so many movies and TV shows. You probably you, you discover like a movie that, you know, it's a cult classic because, you know, oh, well, when it was in the box office, when it was at the cinema, you know, it had very low box office, you know, take or whatever because you know people didn't know about it or they, it didn't really look very good to them but then they they you know later on in dvd it became like a big cult classic because everyone loves this film or whatever or tv shows you know like there's that tv show firefly which if you've ever seen on netflix is really good but it only had one season because people didn't watch it now in every case of the or in most cases of these cult classics the quality was better than anything else, right? That's why they became, you know, so popular after their release or after they, you know, their their initial run. But the marketing was bad. People didn't notice it, or you, they may have looked at it and think, you know, that that looks kind of stupid. For me, like, you know what, you know, what movie was? I watched the, four, you know, the the forty year old virgin. That just, I, you know, when I saw the poster for that, all that kind of stuff, it looked like the stupidest movie, right? But then when I saw it, I thought this was like one of the most hilarious things I'd ever seen. It was, it was, it was hugely funny, but you know, for some reason when I, when I looked at it, it just didn't look like it appealed to me, right? This is one of the problems we all face as app developers, is that when you look at something, it's just, you, you, the quality is not, you can't see what the quality is by looking at the outside. You can't tell what the quality is by looking at the icon, and you're not gonna try, you're not gonna go out, just like you're not gonna go out and watch every single movie, you're not gonna go out and download every app, and none of your users are either. So if a market is really crowded, you have to think about how you're gonna differentiate yourself, and the easy answer is ads, right? I mean, but if your budget is limited, like, you know, for me, if I make a, a you know, if I make less than a dollar per user, which I do a lot less, then I can't pay a dollar per user for acquisition for for an ad, right? It's just, you know, so we have to think about all these other ways, you know, how are we going to get it noticed? And it's just always an ongoing battle. So my message today is that the quality is not enough. And be, most of you guys know this already. And, you know, even, you know, I, I think he knew it you know, when, when we were talking yesterday. The quality is not enough. It's important, but there's, you know, you have to think about so many other different ways because even you know if you know if the if the movie promoters can't you know sell the quality of a film then you know 
how are we going to do with apps? But anyway, those are my thoughts for today. Um, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.